Okay. So what we're going to do, all right, we're going to put back into the vertex form. And remember, once we get that, our vertex is very easy to find because we know that that is whatever our H value and what our K value is. What is unique about the H value? It's negative. And becomes positive. Yeah, that minus sign flips it, right? So we always think of the opposite. Okay, so let's take a look at one. Okay, we have a function. It is in standard form, right? So we're going to take him, and then we're going to rewrite him. We're going to put him back into that vertex form, right? We're going to put him back into this form. So here's the difference in what we did and what we're going to do. We're not going to move this negative 12 over. We're not going to move him over. We're going to keep him on the same side, right? So that, in effect, is the reason why we're going to, when we add our square, we're going to also subtract him out. So we keep everything, um, so we don't actually change the value of the function. Keisha, do you have a question? No, we, you're not going to make it. It'll just happen. It's going to happen because of this. It'll be plus if you have this case, and it will be minus if you have this case. You're going to go through this procedure. You're going to end up with a plus or minus, depending on what function you actually start with. So if we get a negative, we'll make it positive? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And then you look at it that way. Yes. Okay. Very good question. All right. So let's take this one. <coughs> So we're going to separate out our variables, okay? So I'm going to separate out my x squared plus my 16x. We're going to do our completing the square, so I'm going to add that square in there, okay? So this is kind of a little separate entity. We're going to go ahead and put the parentheses around it, just to kind of keep it separated from our constant. But he's still there, and then so we have the minus 12. Since I'm staying on the same side of the equation, since I'm adding the square in here, I'm going to take him out over here. So I'm going to subtract him out over here. Right? Because we're staying on the same side of the equation. So that kind of, that's kind of a little tweak. We just kind of have to change it up a little bit. Okay. So if you're going to go through your process, what's going to go here in your square? 64. Now take this, what does it look like as a binomial? X plus, eight X plus 8 squared. So this one you happen to end up with plus. Just because. Okay, now come over here. Now you have the negative 12 and the negative 64. Combine those, what do you get? And so basically with this is our function. We'll bring that f of x down. Does that look familiar? Is what, Doug? The completing the square process. We took our 16. What's half of 16? 8. 8. And 8 squared is 64. So the root of 8 shows up in our binomial, but the 64 is our completion. Always. Okay. It's the pattern. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Did somebody else have a question? Preston, did you say something? No. Okay. All right. So does this look familiar to you? So looking at this function, do you know what the vertex is of this parabola? Yes. Yes. So what form is this function in? Vertex form. This is vertex form. Okay. So you just used what you did. We just took our... Completing the square process, we started off with a function that was in standard form. We used our completing the square, and we turned him into a vertex form. So tell me what the vertex is. Negative 8, negative eight and negative 76. Okay. OK, 
Okay, now we have a g of x equals a 3x squared minus an 18x plus a 7. We are going to use our completing the square. What is different from this one and the one we just did? It has a 3 for an x squared coefficient. Is that going to work for us? No. no. So we, yeah, we need to get that out of there, okay? So we're going to divide them out. So if we do that, what would we be left with? We would have x squared minus 6x. Okay. We are not, 7 is not a part of this, right? He is not part of the completing. So we're going to add in our square. Now we've got our plus 7. Okay. And again, since we're staying on the same side, our, we're going to have to subtract that square out. Yeah. But, yes, but you notice that in actuality, that square is actually being multiplied with a 3. You see that? So when you subtract them out, that 3's got to go out with them. So when you come over here to subtract your square out, you're going to multiply it by 3. So you're going to have 3 times the square. Okay. So this 3 and this 3 stay in there. Okay. This 3 is multiplying the square that's inside right now here, and this 3 is multiplying it as well. Does everybody understand that? Yes? Yes? We good? Okay. So let's complete our square. So we would have 3 times, what's our completion here? 9? Okay. So our would be x. Why is it minus, Keisha? Right, because of our negative 6x. Now, let's come over here and take care of this. First thing we need to do, uh, order of operation, right, PEMDAS? We must multiply. So let's multiply that. 27, thank you. So we have a negative 27 and plus 7. Negative 20. So bring, bring that over. Can you tell me what the vertex is now? 3 and negative 20. So what happened to this parabola? He's being what? Stretched. Thank you. Yes, he's being stretched, right? He's being stretched by a factor of 3. That's, a, that's your A. So your greatest common factor in these are your A's, right? So it's kind of how that fits in. Okay. So you had an x squared plus a 24x plus your completion. Okay. I'm going to put the 140. Okay, so your completion was 144 because half of 24 is 12. So what was your binomial? x plus 12 x plus 12 plus 1 squared. Okay. Oh, what did I forget? Ah. So we're, we're going to take him out over here. So our 144. Okay, so what's 145 minus 144? One. one. So plus one. So that gives you a vertex of? Negative 12 and one positive one. And positive one. Okay, questions on that one? I no. think I checked everybody's. I don't think I checked. You see, I don't think, did I check yours? Yeah, I don't think I got over 54 over here. Did you get it? Okay. All right, let's do one more. Okay, so how did you fix this one? Divide by five. Okay. That five's got to go, so that left you with what? Negative 10x. X squared 10x. Okay, and then we're going to complete that, so we'll add in our square. And then we still have the 128. Now, when we subtract, what do we have to take into account? The five. The five. We've got to take him out as well, so five times whatever our square is. So you ended up with a 
for completing your square? 25. 25. Okay. So your binomial over here, bring your 5 down. That 5 is a what? What's he doing to the parabola? He's your A. What's he doing to him? Stretching. So he's stretching. Right? That grows from a factor. Okay. You have what? Inside X. Minus 5. Why is it minus? Because at minus 10, right? 10x, I should say. Uh, okay, so over here, PEMDAS, do your multiplication first. So you have 128 minus 125. 125. And 128 minus 125 is what? Plus 3. Plus 3. Okay, so there we go. We're back in vertex form. So our vertex is? Positive 5, positive 3. Positive 5 and positive 3. Okay, so we've got a parabola sitting, its vertex is sitting at 5, 3, <coughs> and he is opening up or down? Uh, up, and he has been stretched by 5, five. by 5, okay. Any questions on that one?